elegant or edgy. That's what we're talking about today. I have some beautiful, elegant pieces that I want to share with you that I've styled in a dressy, elegant way, but then I've taken those pieces and mixed it up and then styled them in more of an edgy way. And so I want to see what you think. I want to see, do you prefer it this way or that way or either one? Which one would you wear or which one wouldn't you wear? So it's going to be fun. And today's video is sponsored by Petite Studio out of New York City. If you're not familiar, can't wait to show you some of their beautiful, elegant pieces in today's video. All right, let's dive in. Welcome or welcome back. I'm thrilled that you're here. My name is Michelle and I create videos here on YouTube every week. They're mostly about fashion, but sometimes we dabble in skincare, beauty, travel, that type of thing. Today is fashion. So I'm super excited. Let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. It's Petite Studio out of New York City. And this is a team of women that design petite clothing. It's usually cur uh, short run curated collections. So, and they are designed for petite women, on petite women, and the team up there in New York, they're petite women. So when I tell you that they get it, they get it. So that was so cool. When they reached out and asked if I wanted to work with them, sign me up, yes. So for reference, let me tell you that I am five feet tall, five feet even, so I am petite. So I was super excited to partner with somebody who focuses on just petite styling. All right, let's get into it. This first look I wanna share with you is this white button down, so beautiful. I wanna show you up close, it's sort of an exaggerated collar right here. So pretty, I love that, but look at the detailing on the cuff. Look at those buttons. Aren't they just beautiful? Oh my goodness. It does have sort of, you can see on me, a little bit of a drop shoulder and it has the pleat down the back right here. And it's just one of those elevated staple pieces. So we all need a white top in our wardrobe. And so this one is your basic white button down. However, it's elevated with the exaggerated collar and with the buttons on the sleeves. It makes it that much more special. The second top I wanna to share with you is this lovely blue one. This, again, the attention to detail is just beautiful. So it has this pearl right here, this pin, and it does have a one button closure in the back. The sleeves are a beautiful, let me see if I can show you, a beautiful French cuff. So in other words, I flipped it like this around my wrist and isn't that just beautiful? Oh, love it. Now the pin does come off like this. Watch you unscrew there. You unscrew one end and then it can come out like that and that's how you put it back on. The next piece I want to show you is this beautiful blue clay jacket. Just look at how pretty. And look at the buttons right here on the cuff. It's just, it's just that little extra extra. And it has the trim here. It gives me all the Chanel vibes. It has functional pockets on each side. And then look at the buttons, how pretty. Aren't this so cute? So gorgeous, love it. And we're gonna jump into how I style these pieces, both elegantly and edgy and we'll see which one you liked best starting with the white button down so i styled this one first with a pair of black this is the tribeca pant from talbot and it's just your basic black sleek elegant staple wardrobe pant is that enough adjectives <laughs> um but i tucked it in and then i styled it uh, with the shoes or the pointy toe pumps with the cap toe black on the front. I did this for a specific reason. I wanted the pointy toe to elongate the leg, okay, to make it look that much more elegant, which I think it does. I also selected an earring here that is, it's a gold huggy type earring because I didn't want the earrings to be the star of the show. I wanted them to be subtle. So that's why I chose the huggy one, because I wanted the star of the show to be the beautiful buttons right here on the collar, I mean on the sleeve, I'm sorry, the cuff, 
and the exaggerated collar because I think it makes it look that much more elegant. Now, I would wear this to the office, to church. I would wear it. It's just, it's one of those pieces that is very easily dressed up and very elegant looking. Just that sleek, elevated white button down that's super special. Or you can create it a little bit more edgy. Let's take a look at that. Here I've taken the same white button down, only this time I styled it with this. See the print on this pant? And this is a flare leg pant. I would say it's very trendy. It's very on trend right now. This is, it has the faux pockets in the back right here for a smooth booty. And they, this does fit rather snug. So I went ahead and got my true size. I got a petite extra small in this pant and it's, it's pretty snug but I like the way that fit, it fits. I think that the flare just gives me that long, long, looks like I have long legs and I do not have long legs at all. So that, that slim through here and then the flare at the bottom is what creates the illusion of the flare legs. And now I paired this with the nude heel and really you don't even see much of the nude shoe because the, you always want, or. I always think that it looks best, let me say that, for the bottom of the flare pant to almost dust the floor, like a quarter of an inch above the floor. So you're really kind of hiding the shoe almost, but I thought it was fun to just take the white button down that can be styled very elegantly and then take it with a more trendy piece and see how it works together. So. I liked the look. I liked both looks, actually. And so I want you to tell me in the comments below, do you like both styles? Would you wear both? Or do you just like it one way? Let me know. I wanted to tell you also that the white button down runs very, very big. I'm wearing it in an extra, extra small, which is usually a great fit for me. And it is, it's, almost too big it's very oversized so keep that in mind i would size down two sizes definitely if you're considering purchasing the white button down moving on to the light blue with the pearl detailing pen right here top so pretty that little detail just makes it so elegant in my opinion and then i loved the french cuff on right here it just it's special and it's just elegant. I think it's just elegant. So again, I styled it with the Tribeca pant, which is just your basic black pant. And let me say as well, the Tribeca pant runs big. I'm wearing it in a zero petite and I can literally hold it out quite a bit. So I would definitely size down one or even two sizes because it is very generously cut. Now, I like the blue top with the black pants. I think it's very beautiful. Now for this look, I decided to change out the earrings because I wanted the star of the show to be the pin and the French cuffs. And so I didn't want any contradictory attention going up to the ears. So I'm wearing just the cubic zirconian, small, not showy, little studs, okay? Because I just, I wanted to wear an earring that I thought was simple and pretty, but I didn't want to take away from the beautiful details on this top. The second way I styled this blue top is with a pair of distressed faded jeans. Now, I know a lot of you don't like distressed jeans and that's okay, but I just wanted to show you what it would look like for those of you that do. All right, so this is a pair of cut from the cloth jeans that did come distressed and they were a little bit too long. They're not petites, but I cut the length off and they're fine. So I don't have a problem with that. If they come already with a raw hem, I feel like I'm not sacrificing the integrity, the look of the jean if I just cut them shorter and have a raw hem because it looks just the same. So, so I styled it with the faded distressed jeans and then I put a nude heel to kind of keep it a little dressy and then a belt. So with that look, I just wanted it to be 
a little edgy, a little trendy, but still elegant. Try to create a partnership between the two to see if it would work. So I would wear this look. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty both ways. But I know, like I said, a lot of you do not like the distressed jean look. But you could also do this with a pair of regular jeans. Also, it wouldn't be quite as edgy maybe if you didn't have distress in, but that may not be the goal to be edgy. So let me know what you think about this second pairing, what you like, if you would wear it with the jeans or if you would stick to the more elegant way to wear it. This boucle jacket. So the first way I have it styled is over a white button down with those same Tribeca pants and it's unbuttoned. Now, I think that it's beautiful like this. I think it's so appropriate for workwear, for the office, it's for uh, in meetings, for church. It's just, it's a good, uh, very functional piece that will work in a lot of different venues. So keep that in mind. Now, let me tell you, in this jacket, I'm wearing it in an extra, extra small, and it runs very big so even when I button it it I mean I can hold it out to here and the sleeves come down to here so keep that in mind if you are interested in checking it out I would size down one or two sizes even because it's so generously cut now I like it styled like this I think that that's very beautiful very pretty very classic with a little modern twist and it gives me kind of like the Chanel vibes like it's just that sort of pretty, I don't know, it's just pretty and elegant to me. All right, now let's move on to the second way I styled it. Here I've styled the same jacket a little bit different. So I took off the white button down, buttoned it up, and so this time I'm wearing it as a top and not a jacket, which is fun to be able to do either one. And I have it styled with a pair of itty bitty boot cut jeans by Wit & Wisdom. I love these jeans. I think they are so flattering on pretty much any body type. And they come in petite and missy and plus sizes. So this jean is cut very similar to the pants that I showed you earlier. These, they're as far as the cut. So they're fit very slim through the top of the thigh, like right here. And then they, uh, the boot cut is at the bottom, which I think, just looking, tell me what you think, I think that that just really helps to elongate the leg and make it look longer. I think I look a lot taller than five feet zero in this video and in these pictures, and, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. So, but I like this look. And then I just styled it with a new shoe because, again, the shoe doesn't really show very much. And again, with this style pant, I prefer for it to also cover the shoe to create that elongated look and then like to be about a quarter of an inch off the floor, almost dusting the floor. So I like this look. I would definitely wear this look. Let me know if you like it too. And let me say this about the jeans. The jeans do run big. I'm wearing this one in zero petite and I really think I should have gotten a double zero petite. So definitely size down one from your normal size in the itty bitty boot cut jean. Okay, I have a couple more outfits that I would like to share with you. Now I didn't do an elegant and an edgy look, I just did one look, but I wanted to just walk you through my thought process when I was creating these styles. So what you're seeing here is this sleeveless mock top, which I love. I own it in two or three other colors. It's very soft. It's that air essential luxe feeling to it. Super soft with a high neck, which I always think a high neck is elegant. I'm wearing this in an extra small and it does run true to size. Now I will say this about this top. This is from Spanx. These sell out so fast. And if you are even remotely interested in it, I would say get it now because so many times in the other colors, when they release a new color and I share it with you, everyone loves it, and then they all go out and buy it, and then people are like, aw, it's been sold out. Well, it's because they sell out super fast, so know that ahead of time. And this color is, I wanna say it was called Spice. 
It's so pretty, so, so beautiful. All right, so I styled this top with these cropped wide leg pants. And I wanna give you a close up of what the pattern looks like. Again, on the back, just like the other pants I showed you, it's got the faux pockets to create a smooth look on the booty. So you're not gonna see pocket lines through the pants right here. Uh, it's very smooth cut, it's very snug, but it's supposed to be, okay? I'm wearing this in an extra small, petite, and it comes in regular petite and tall. And this is, it fits the way it's supposed to be, which is a little bit snug. And yeah, anyway, I like it though. So I have it paired with nude sandals, okay? Because I feel like the standout in this outfit, so I feel like this is subtle, this is just, you know, a solid color, sort of plain, and then the shoes are nude so they don't stand out, but this is the star of the show. This is the wow factor to the outfit. Because of the print, the, the plaid, I think that it makes it somewhat trendy and somewhat edgy because not everybody's gonna wear these pants. But, and don't show many cropped wide leg pants. Sometimes, I, I don't know, I just, I wonder if they, I, it works for me. But I wanted to give you options. I wanted to show you what it looked like. So tell me, is this a style that you would wear or would you skip on the wide leg cropped pants? Let me know. This look is the long sleeve wrap top, which it's not a faux wrap, it's a real wrap and it's made out of the same material as this top. So it's that Air Lux Super Soft, love it. And I'm wearing it in an extra small. Now the sleeves are a bit long, but I usually push my sleeves up anyway, so I don't really mind that. Now, let me tell you that with a top like this, it might be a good idea to wear some fashion tape to hold it down. If you're not familiar, I'll put in a picture, you can see what it looks like, but it's just sort of like a double-sided tape that you would put in, let me see, where the wrap part closes. So in other words, you would put it right there and you wouldn't be able to see it, but that way it would hold it shut in case you're worried. Now, for me, it, it would tend to gape open because I don't have much of a chest. So there's nothing there to keep it in place. However, you may, not have, you may have a different problem than me. <laughs> you may have a better problem than me. <laughs> Either way. So the top, I'm wearing an extra small. And then the skirt, isn't this cute? Isn't that pattern cute? Okay, now I'm wearing this one in an extra small. This did not come in petite. This is just a regular extra small. Now, it might be short for some of us girls, but I wanted to show you the length and let you see what it looked like. So, but I also wanted to show you that underneath the skirt is a pair of shorts. So you're never gonna have, there we go, you're never gonna have an opportunity to see anything that you should see, but some of us still might not like to wear shorts that, skirts that short. But if you don't mind, and if you like that short of, sort of, shirt, man, I am twisted with my words today. That sort of short skirt, then you might really like this one. I will tell you this though, this is about the fit. It has this kind of an odd, I don't know if you can see that, pleat right here, okay, on each side. And I'm thinking if you're hippie, that might be a good thing. If you're not hippie, it's, it might be sort of extra material right now. I wondered if it felt like extra material on me. Like it kind of, I kept kind of wiggling around in it because I felt like I should be filling it out more right here and I wasn't filling it out. So it's just a side note and that, it may just be me being weird on, on the fit, but I just want to let you know that in case, you know, you notice that as well. I've shown you several items from Spanx today and I wanted to be sure to tell you to make sure you know don't ever pay full price for Spanx. I have a discount code that's ongoing and it gets you 10% off and free shipping 
and free returns. I will leave that information here on the screen as well as down in the description box and pinned to the top comment. I will leave links to everything that I shared with you today in the description box and pinned to the top comment. And as usual, please feel free to ask me any questions. If you have a specific question about fit or anything at all, I'm here to help you make a good educated decision about clothing before you would purchase online. That's why I do what I do. So I'm here, I'm an open book. You can always ask away. If you haven't already subscribed, I invite you to tap the subscribe button. I would love for you to be part of the family and I'll see you next week.